Hello and welcome to week 12 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and I'm going over each of the big games this week and predicting who wins and who loses. Since I'm only going over the big games, I'm going to post the rest of my predictions for this week in the comments below. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. But we had a few games canceled last week, but we do have a lot of big games this week. So let's just get right into it, starting with the... 10th ranked 2-0 Wisconsin Badgers taking on the 19th ranked 4-0 Northwestern Wildcats. Wisconsin's coming off of a big win over Michigan, 49-11. Northwestern's also coming off of a win over Purdue, 27-20. Wisconsin has only played two games this year, but they've looked really solid in both of those games, especially their offense scoring 45-plus points in both of them, and their defense allowing only 11 against Michigan and 7 against Illinois. Uh, but their QB, Graham Mertz, has really been the highlight of their team with seven touchdowns, 375 yards passing, and zero interceptions in only two games. On the other side, Northwestern's defense has also been really good this year, uh, only allowing 301 yards a game and only 14 points allowed a game as well, and four, that's in four games. They have a really good win over Maryland, 43-3. to The rest of their games have been really close ones, especially against Iowa, 21-20. to I do think this one could be a close game, but I'm going to go with Wisconsin on this one. I'm going to go 35-24 over the Wildcats. And now we have the unranked Utah Utes playing their first game of the year against the 20th ranked 2-0 USC Trojans. USC is coming off of a close win over Arizona, 34-30. And like I said, Utah hasn't played a game this year. And both of USC's games have been really close. The first one against Arizona State, 28-27. And then the last one, like I said, they won against Arizona, 34-30. to There isn't a whole lot to go off of because USC's only played two games and Utah is playing their first game this week. Uh, I do think this one it could go either way. Uh, I think it's going to be really close. But I'm going to go with a bit of an upset. I'm going to say Utah wins 27-24 to against the Trojans in a last-second field goal uh, to win it. And now we have a big game between 14th-ranked 5-1 Oklahoma State Cowboys and the 18th-ranked 5-2 Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma State's coming off of a really close win against Kansas State, 20-18. And Oklahoma's coming off of a five-game win streak and a big win over Kansas, 62-9. Oklahoma's offense has, has been really explosive this year, averaging 46 points and over 500 yards a game. And they're, and QB Spencer Rattler with 18 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, over 2,000 yards passing on the year. On the other hand, Oklahoma State QB Sanders with 5 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. But their offense hasn't been bad at all, averaging 28 points and over 400 yards a game. Their defense has also been solid, averaging 17 points allowed a game and 300 yards allowed a game as well. On the other hand, Oklahoma's defense has been vulnerable at some points. Uh, definitely not bad, but they allowed 24 points a game with 338 yards allowed as well. So definitely not bad, but they have been have looked vulnerable at some points. I think this one is going to be really close. I think these two teams match up really well. Uh, Oklahoma does, does have the advantage on offense quite a bit, but Oklahoma State does have a bit of a better defense. Uh, I'm gonna, I think in Big 12 fashion, I think it's going to be a shootout. But I'm going to go with the upset Oklahoma State over Oklahoma, 38-37. to I think Oklahoma State wins this one for the first time in six years over Oklahoma. I do think it could be, it could really go either way, but I think it's going to be a shootout. I'm going to go with Oklahoma State, 38-37 to over Oklahoma. And now we have another big game between the third-ranked 3-0 Ohio State Buckeyes and the ninth-ranked 4-0 Indiana Hoosers. Indiana is coming off of a shutout win over Michigan State, 24-0. And Ohio State's last game against Maryland was canceled, but their offense has been explosive with 46 points and over 500 yards on average a game. And QB Justin Fields with 11 touchdowns, over 900 yards passing with zero interceptions in only three games. And Indiana's offense has also been solid this year, 33 points a game with over 360 yards on average a game as well. And their defense only allowing 19 points a game. Ohio State's defense allowing 23 points a game, and both defenses allowing around the same amount of yards. So both defenses have been pretty similar. Uh, Indiana's having a great season so far, with especially with their getting their first win over Michigan in 17 years two weeks ago, and they won that game 38 to 21. Uh, I don't think Indiana's defense is going to be able to stop stop Ohio State's offense. I'm going to go Ohio State with a pretty big win, 42 to 24 over the Hoosers. Thank you for watching and feel free to post your predictions in the comments below and I will have the rest of my predictions for week 12 also in the comments but thank you for watching and I will see you next time.